Hi, Caleb from Brownhouse here. And in today's tech tip, we're gonna be installing the Mod 4 handguard from Aero Precision. So if you're not familiar with this handguard, I'll just give you the quick rundown through it here. It is a minimal deflection handguard, which means it's made to have a bunch of weight and just stuff hung off the end of it and to deflect minimally, right? So if you have something on here, lights, lasers, whatever, uh, that you want to maintain point of aim, point of impact, or just, you know, hold zero, uh, this is definitely the handguard to do it with, right? And they come in a bunch of different lengths, uh, the longest being the 15 inch, the shortest being a 10.6 inch, and then a bunch of stuff in the middle in between that so you can uh, pretty much pick one to suit your need. Now, with that, the mounting system for this is a little bit different, which is why we're doing an install video. Uh, but some other cool features here real quick. It is a little back heavy, uh, but I'll tell you why it is in, a, in just a minute. And then you also have QD slots, right? You have them in the back, in the front, and they have reinforced steel inserts. So you're not just plugging into aluminum. These are all reinforced. And then, of course, you have 1913 across the top. Angled M locks, side M locks, bottom M locks, uh, M lock everywhere you want it. So with that being said, let's just jump right into it, get into the installation. Okay, so the first thing, well, it's going to come installed just like this. You're going to have these uh, two little screws here. Don't throw these away because we're going to we're going to use those. And uh, all right, so it comes just like this. We're going to need to take a torque driver and I'm going to look at that and guess that's a T20. And uh, put that in my driver and we'll just unscrew them. And I haven't actually installed this one yet, so this is new to me as well. All right, and then the plate is gonna fall off the other side. Just set that there. And then your screws. Are keyed in so you got to rotate them and if you notice there's a line that goes through the screw horizontal is going to be where they come out all right and if you look the the screws themselves are a pretty funky shape and that's there for a reason all right so once you get those out the plates out you can just slide the barrel nut out and it'll come right on out just like that. Like I said, it's a pretty beefy uh, barrel nut, but it's also long. And that's a good thing. The longer the barrel nut is, the more support uh, it gives to the handguard. So, all right. Now, all we need to do is set up our AR like usual. We're using the device here. Again, you don't have to use this one. Use your favorite's upper receiver fixture. But I like this one because it is my favorite upper receiver fixture. Okay, now the barrel, we'll just use, uh, we're using a Sons of Liberty Gunworks barrel here. And we'll just take a little bit of Action Lube Plus, put it on that barrel extension. And just spread that grease around. All right, and then we'll put a little bit of grease on the threads and the front of the shoulder. And I will grab a rag. Okay, so now we take our barrel nut, slide it over and thread it on. Hand tight and now we'll switch to a torque wrench and I'm going to go we'll do we'll do 45 foot pounds that'll be plenty and it doesn't come with a wrench but let's see here so it will take pretty much any castle nut type wrench. So 
that's uh, that kind of includes a lot of them. I'm just trying to figure out which one to use here. Um, I'm just faced with so many choices. So we'll uh, take. Well, actually, you know what? We could use the Midwest Industries wrench because that uh, is the same exact dimension. Uh, and then we also have Bravo Company. Theirs is the same exact dimension. There's a lot of options. If you have a standard AR wrench, you'll be able to put this on. I'm just going to use this Bravo Company one here because that's what I had handy. But like I said, you don't have to have a special wrench. Any AR wrench will fit on here. All right, so we're going to torque that down. All right, and then we'll back that off a bit here. And torque wrenches can torque both directions. That's fine. So we'll go right back, and there it is. Okay, so now barrel nuts installed. This is the part where you would install your gas block and gas tube. Uh, for the purpose of this video, we're just going to skip that. We have a ton of content out already on how to do that. Okay, so now we're going to slide the handguard over and it's going to index on that upper receiver. And if you notice, there is a little bit of play there left and right. That's so it'll work with a wide variety of receivers, right? but you can fill the middle of it right there. It actually kind of locks into the middle. Okay, and then those tiny screws I told you about earlier, we'll cut those guys open. All right, and then my Allen wrenches. We'll grab those. All right, and then we're just going to thread them in. And what I'm going to do, because I know right now it is vertical, right? So I'm just going to get those started. Threading them in. But I'm not going to tighten them down yet. All right, so I got those in position. There's still a little bit of movement there. All right, so I'm going to take that back plate, and if you notice, one side of it has like a recess cut in it. That's going to be facing outward. So we just set that in the slot. All right, so we'll take our screw. Doesn't matter which one first, and just thread it on in. All right, and remember, to get it to go all the way to the thread, you have to have that line horizontal. And then you'll feel it go through the barrel nut. Then you can start tightening it down. But we'll just set them both in there. And if you if you keep pressure on that back plate, I should have said this here. Let me take it out so I can show you. If you keep pressure on the back plate as you try to turn the screws, you won't be able to turn the screws. So you have to push that plate out a bit so that the screw will turn. And then do the same thing for the other one. And then now, we can tighten them down. Just like that. And torque on these is 55 inch pounds. And if you're thinking, man, that's why do the screws, why do you have to, why, why can't you just screw it in? Um, reason for that being that if for whatever reason any of these come loose, they can't go anywhere. So they'll never, they'll never fall out on you, uh, which is a pretty cool feature. And let's see here. I'm still going to need that T20. Then a torque attachment, and we will go 55 inch pounds. All right, 
And that's all there is to it. That's how you install the Mod 4 handguard. Just kidding, because we've got to tighten these side screws down. All right. Almost forgot. You almost let me forget. All right, so we'll just tighten those down. And now that these screws are tightened down, these so these screws tighten down on the barrel nut, where we knew this was perfectly vertical, right? So we, we line that up first. And then we tighten down the side screws just so that they touch the upper receiver. They don't need to like torque down into it. They just need to, to barely kiss it. And that's all you need. All right, so that side's good. And that side's good. All right, so that is the Mod 4 handguard installation from Aero Precision. All right, so if you have any questions, comments, concerns, need help with anything, uh, let us know in the comments down below or give us a call on the tech line. We'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.